and and realizing like, man, I spent some key pivotal moments in my career feeling like I was being far more reactive to what was happening than like proactive and setting myself up to like fully be present, you know? And I look back at it and I'm like, I'm very proud of myself for having made it through those moments. But like there was moments where, and and this is like even deeper on like the, uh, the experiences I used to have with like anxiety and panic attacks, you know? I didn't know that that was like my body physically telling me something's wrong. Mm-hmm. Like you're not okay. Mm-hmm. But because you're scared to let other people down, you're scared of what other people might say, you push through anyways. And I realize, like, just because you can doesn't mean you should. And I think that that's one of my most valuable lessons, for sure. Because there was, I mean, many moments before going onto a stage. And, I mean, we're talking full-blown tears, can't breathe. If you've had a panic attack, you know the world is ending. And there's also this, like, subconscious part of you that's like, girl, breathe. Just breathe. You know, You know what this is. You know, but your nervous system can't tell the difference between like the mental bear and the real bear that's in the room. And there's no bears in the room. So like chillax, it's okay. But yeah, just being really young and in really high stress situations, like, you know, you're everybody's boss, but technically everybody's older than you. And it's just such an interesting dynamic to have grown up in. And so I think that that has been the most valuable lesson for me up until this point, 